Hi, welcome to In The Workshop. I'm David. Today we're going to try and make a log lifter and it's going to go outside next to the workbench out there. We're going to see if I can save my back a bit. So join me in a second, see how we get on. So I'm going to make this log lift out of bits and bobs that I've got kicking around. So, for example, this piece is off an old satellite dish, one of the really old ones that were really massive. And that's part of the frame. So I'll be using that. And we've got some thick pipe here that we'll be using. We've got this piece here that I'll be using. And uh, I've got this this old clothes uh, line. It's a uh, clothes pole. So the gauge on that isn't that thick. I mean, it's not too bad because we only want to be lifting logs like this sort of thing. But uh, I'm going to try and strengthen this up a bit. I've already put some concrete outside. Mix some concrete and put it in. Um, aligned inside with plastic because it's right next to our cherry tree so I didn't want that uh, affecting the roots on that and affecting the tree going to work on my bench that I've got here that I made specially for doing stuff like this on and uh, this is where I'll be chopping logs as well if I'm doing any chainsaw chainsawing to make them into slabs or even into logs probably I'll be using this so I just want to lift to be able to get the stuff onto here without uh, doing my backing like I say this is these are just bits and bobs I know that uh, it could be made stronger if I use stuff like scaffolding pipe or something like that, but I'm just using what I've got. So for a start, what we're doing is trying to beef up this a bit to make it stronger. And the idea is I'm gonna weld this inside of it. But we need to cut this off for a start.
So what we're doing here is just welding this thicker bar inside and it's giving it a bit of a backbone. So I'm welding through here onto this and then connecting onto this piece as well. So it'll stiffen it up a bit more. So now just got to slide the other piece on, weld through them and then weld the joint as well. Right, we've got this all welded up in one piece. I used this this channel there to sit it on to keep it all nice and straight when I welded it up. So we've welded all them in and welded round the joint there. And then just ground it up. And that just slips into the sleeve there. So now we need to build off here, build the rest of it. Just starting to, uh, well, it's between snow and hail, that's what it, it's like soft hail, but I think it'll be passing pretty quick, there's just a dark cloud in the sky there, and then uh, hopefully it'll have gone by. So I'll just chuck some over this, uh, over these to cover it up for a minute, and and then we'll get back on it. Okay, so we've got this piece sitting into that sleeve there, going into the concrete. So I've got, like I said, this uh, satellite dish bracket. And I'm going to use this to support it so that it's got even more support. So this is going to go sit in there and have a piece welded round there. This I want to be able to remove all the time to uh, put it out of the way. So that's going to have a piece welded round there. And then I'm going to fit some blo uh, blocks to the bottom of these... Uh, to this bench where these ends of these brackets go where they can screw in so that will be screwed and just stay there this will be able to lift up and be taken away from uh, taken out of it but that will give it extra support just there The bug house is still down here. There's probably things living in it. That's the uh, bug log cabin that I made. So really I need to, I could do with screwing it to the wall, but there's still spiders and all sorts going in there. If you haven't seen that and wanna see it, I'll put the link above. So I've just welded this to this piece. They're both a bit galvanized, so I'd ground the galvanized uh, layer off and then held my breath while I welded it because you don't want to be breathing that in. So I'm just going to grind that and cut it off there with the grinder. Just don't need that bit. Just a quick tip, if you're new to welding, if you've, uh, there's a good saying to, rem uh, to remind you of this, so if it creates slag, you drag. So if there's slag, you drag. So this is a gasless uh, MIG welder, so it's using flux core, flux cord uh, welding wire. So it means you drag away like that when you start. So you start here and then move away from it like that. If you're using a gassed one without flux, then you can go along, you go along into it like that, over the top of it. But with these, flux cord uh, MIG wire, or with sticks, you uh, 
drag away from it. So with the stick, you would have it at an angle like that, go down, strike your arc, and then you would drag away like that so that the slag builds up behind it. Because if you go into it like that, you're mixing all the slag into the weld and you'll get a poor weld. So always remember, if the slag, drag. So this is what I'm going to have as the top piece and to fix it onto there I've still got I've got quite a few of these uh, trampoline brackets so they're gonna I think I should straighten these out so that they can go up the sides of here this can be clamped onto there and welded and these can be welded up the side of here and bent over the top if uh, there's still some sticking over there and welded on there as well so that'll uh, make an ideal joint just there There that clamps on there lovely. So I'll put some weld on that and then the other piece can go in here and have welds down the sides to hold it all. But yeah, that should be good. getting there so uh, all we need now is some kind of support in there support in there and then spray it all up I've got a clamp bit there that will have to slide up and be on the top from the top of that bracket but yeah we just need a support in there got some spray paint the sun's come out so let's get it done while the sun's out this is a two-in-one paint and primer for metal metal protective paint so we'll put some Right, while the uh, paint is drying, I just thought I'd show you this. So this is the winch that we're going to use on it. So this is from viva.co.uk. time when I bought this uh, it was about 52 pounds 53 pounds or something so it's a PA 300 so it lifts uh, 300 kilos I haven't made my uh, frame to lift 300 kilos but this is supposed to so we've got another hook there I think that's if you use this double 
You see it says PA300 on there. On there it says PA250, small electric hoist. But then if you look at the load capacity on there, it says 300 kilos. So the lifting height, oh that's right, if you, because it depends how you have the wire cable. So if the cable's just single, then it's 150 kilos. If you've got it doubled, then it's 300 kilos. The lifting height, six meters when it's doubled or 12 meters when it's just straight, just single. Voltage, 220 volts, 50 hertz, input power, uh, 600 watts. So that's the lifting button, so up and down. And this here, this on there, when that goes up it switches that off, it, it's like the stop on there. Yeah, I'm sure the unit itself something like 11 kilos, so 20, just over 20 pounds, 22 pounds or something. It's not too bad. It has these clips that bolt it. Uh, uh, supports that bolt on the top there. Made this frame so it slots in so it can turn around. Alright, let's just pop this over the end. That's nice and easy. It's going dark again. Might snow or hail. Um, so the wire that's on there is really short for plugging in so you will need an extension lead with that my plugs are just there and it won't even reach that so I'll just fetch an extension lead and then we'll see how we get on so let's have a look So as I say, this the idea is this swivels round, goes down to the log, strap the log up, and lift it up. Hopefully it's going to save my back. So the idea is to lift it up like that until I get above the bench and then swivel it around until it's over the bench and then lower it down. You can see that the motor stops, clicks and stops really quick in it. It's shifting that. But this is all welded up so it should be okay. When it's got weight on there it might do that less actually. We'll find out. So all there is to do now is get some locks. So I'll just fetch some locks and we'll try it. Right, let's give it its first try then. I haven't got any real straps. I'll have to get some uh, straps, lifting straps. So at the minute I'm using just a ratchet strap, so I don't know if that'll break. But we'll try with the, uh, this is soft wood there, and then we'll try with the hardwood log. So let's give it a go. Obviously keep out of the way while you're lifting. So if it drops, it doesn't drop on your feet.
as you can see that is very snappy the like motor on there snatches all the time but that's okay shakes this about a bit but it's okay it's holding up So this is a hardwood log and it's heavy so what I've done here because this has a bit of wobble I've decided I might as well just put a scrap across here because I've got the cherry tree here so that will support it a bit and it will still let it turn as well to uh, put it across to be able to swivel it load it onto the bench obviously I've got to make sure that it's in line with that else it'll pull that motor off the end because I've just got it slid over the end I really need to just drop a bolt thing through that end and then it'll stop it slipping off Yeah, that cherry tree's helping no end. So all I've got to do is just stick a strap round it like that. It stops too much of the wobbling about and shaking. So yeah, really I need to keep it as far back as I can on there. That'll be better than taking it far out that end. I could even slide this off and turn it round and put it through that way so that the uh, wire's further across here. And then that would uh, put less strain on that. But yeah, I think it'll be all right. It moves around, like I say, but uh, it works and none of the welds are cracking or anything And then when I finished with it, should be easy to take apart. Let's have a look. So if you're still here now, thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, if you could give it a thumbs up, that'd be brilliant. 
and if you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing It'd be great to have you follow along so uh yeah i know the uh like it could have been made better with different things but i was just using what i've got and it does do the job and it does it well with that strap around the cherry tree as well it uh it's ideal now so hopefully that will stop me doing my back in so often so we've achieved what we wanted to do so all there is for me to do is clear all the mess up now so i'll see you next time in the workshop take care